Hello YouTube, and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where I give you a glimpse of what's new in the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of neuroscience. Researchers at the University of Montreal are conducting experiments with a drug that may erase or diminish bad memories. When recalling a negative memory, the drug reduces the amount of cortisol in the brain. And this reduction in cortisol during memory recall seems to have a direct effect on the integrity of that memory. To test this, they ran an experiment where people had to learn a story with both negative and neutral events. The subjects who recalled the story after being given the drug had greater difficulty remembering the negative parts. While this kind of research sounds scary, it also has legitimate uses, such as people suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Our next story comes from the world of physics. An international team known as ITER is designing a prototype for a fusion reactor. A recent accomplishment is the development of a sensor that will accurately detect the properties of the plasma contained inside the reactor by a magnetic field. By surrounding the reactor in electric coils and measuring the electrical tension, the scientists will be able to detect the shape and location of the plasma, which is good because if the plasma touched the walls of the chamber, the facility would melt. And from the world of nanotechnology, where engineers at Vanderbilt University have developed an inexpensive way to make devices from nanomaterials. These materials are called nanoporous substances and have a number of applications, including drug delivery, solar panels, and sensors. The normal method for making devices from these materials is much like the making of a computer chip, making it expensive and time-consuming. However, the new method developed by the engineers simply creates new devices by using a master stamp to press them out quickly and inexpensively. Our final story comes from the world of biotechnology, where researchers at Duke University have developed a special chip that can quickly and cheaply print out strands of DNA. For some context, it costs about 50 cents per base pair to synthesize with current methods, but using this new chip reduces that to less than half a cent per base pair. The reason it's so much cheaper is because the chip is essentially a biochemical inkjet printer. Using enzymatic reactions for DNA assembly and error checking. With this kind of big development in biotechnology, there are too many applications to list. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Brainstorm. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing, and don't forget to check all the links in the video description. Thanks.